Yo, welcome to Fly With Lauren, part of Art Fly Learn. So today I'm doing a pick a pile. I've got three piles, pile one, pile two, pile three. If you need to pause the video at this point, do so now. We can choose with brasses if that makes it easier. Pile one, pile two, pile three. Right, so pick your pile and I'm gonna jump straight in. I'm gonna knock pile two and pile three back. Lay out pile one and see what the story says. Firstly, welcome to your reading. Uh, the brass you've chosen is 150. To me, this feels like a landmark. So you feel like you're looking at your life, at your world, and you're wanting that new phase. You're thinking about that. So I don't know, so say you've been in a career and you're like, but I really want to do this. Like, I really want to do my dreams. Or say you've worked your whole career and you're looking at retirement. I really want to retire. I really, really want to, again, it's this whole feeling of like achievement and alignment and like timing so it's like it feels like genuinely going for gold so going for the very very best thing that you feel aligned to right now um it feels um quite saturnian as well which um i don't know saturn and neptune so saturn would be about freeing yourself from what feels like restriction even this i'm wanting to like draw my finger around it so it feels like the world like you want to open up your world you're looking at your world you're thinking, right, I really want to get out and live more. Um, I just feel like you want to feel whole and connected and um, yeah, like, like, like you're really living. So looking at your card, even me, I'm having to draw breath. So I feel like it's like, God, I'm really tired. Like I feel like with your energy, I feel like um, you felt like the heaviness or the weight of something. This could have been, like I said, due to workload. It could have been due to having some bouts of health that haven't been so good and you felt like, yeah, just you feel exhausted, like emotionally exhausted. And you're like, you want a change. You want a sudden change. You want to shift from whatever this feeling is of this depression or this weight on your shoulder. What the cards are telling you is that you are the one who can do this. So I love this energy. It's saying like it's within your hands, within your capability to be able to manifest what this is that you want. You just need to be able to step, put the weight down. So firstly, put like um, expectation down, put down the feeling of responsibility and, and and I feel like it's saying like, um, especially come the sun months, I think, I don't know whether you're fueled by the sun in some way that you feel like you can do more in the, in the sun, you're more active. So say this is your health, your body feels more healed by being outdoors or the light at night. So this again, for people who struggle with their, even like their head and their mentality and their emotions, the sun is so healing for a majority of people. So I would say that the summer months are gonna be your proactive months where you take it within your grasp to change and to choose the things that you don't want versus the things that you do want and this is in a very practical manner so we're talking like jobs where we want to live how we want to learn and it how we want to earn our living um what makes us feel like we're getting nibbled away at because it's like this energy of moths so what feels like it's um taking away from our energy what feels like it's becoming like draining dark energy as in, as in like i don't want to do it this is really heavy so I feel like it's really just saying right now, I've, I haven't, like maybe, I've, maybe you feel like you haven't made some progress in some way, like I can't quite get out of the bit. Like I'm, I'm waiting for something, I don't really know what I want, but I feel like I'm in like a waiting energy. And what I would say is that waiting is a choice. So like what you don't change, you choose. So you need to identify with, not with the waiting, but what do I want? So maybe you guys need to literally manifest. Maybe you need to get a pen and paper out. I was only saying this ironically to my um, family the other day. I was like, right, get the pen and paper out, start writing down all the things that you do want within your life and um, what would make you really happy and, and, and we'll start from there. So yeah, some of you might be writers, some of you will find it very healing to kind of try and identify um, through words or through writing what you, yeah, what's gonna feel good for you. There's so much yellow on here as well. I don't know much about it, but there's something called four pages red pen. So. Google that, have a little look at that. And then again, that might be a message for some of you as well. Um, it's funny I said the world because here you've got the world card. So again, it's identifying with wanting to get out and live and explore and be free. Um, some of you have got some real uh, like legal things to tie up. So I don't know if you're busy um, looking into, some of you, this might be paperwork, houses, contracts. Some of you, this will mean um, wills. It could mean inheritance. It, it is anything that will change your world in some big way or that you know that you should be identifying with kind of legally. Um, 
which will close off one cycle and then allow more doors to open. A lot of you, like I said, it's going to be physically having to write or sign something. And I feel like you've got lots happening up until August. It's given me two Leo cards. So um, I would say you may even identify as being a Leo or needing to, um, yeah, kind of take in the energy of a Leo, which is confidence. Some of you might even find that you'll become more aligned when you put down some form of responsibility and start having more of a playful approach as in, what do I like doing? Do I need to um, put some creativity in, into my life and I can channel what my wants are through my art or through my dance or through my movement or I just feel like some of you will, will kind of know more what you want when you actually just start doing something that feels healthy and it feeds your soul in some way. Some of you, like I said, are regaining some form of um, strength. So if you've had some bouts of frustration, like from frustration or ill health or something which again, I've, I've, got, I've always got this cold or I can't seem to get rid of this niggle or I've got this pain or whatever this thing is some of you it'll be your back um so i feel like it's saying look um, get out of your head in some way you've got some big decisions to make because i feel like you're looking at the world and you're looking at other people and going oh my god they're doing this but they're here and they're there and they're on they're on a cruise at the minute and they're this so i feel like instead of watching other people live their lives in a big way i feel like it's time to, for you to guys for you guys to take some form of center stage some of you have got um a male in your energy which is causing some so if you're a man watching i would say that potentially you're the reason for the stagnant thoughts um or some of you have got a man in your life which again may be making you feel stagnant in a waiting energy or because they're being stagnant and indecisive so depending on how that resonates for you um some of you need to take that bold approach to be that sort of king of wands as in go um i feel like it's getting out of a nostalgic kind of sense of going oh well i remember when i used to do that or and it's like why are you living in the past some of you need to get out of living in the past and change your mindset in some way and really just plan and plan for the future but not not in like a uh, disillusioned way like in a very practical approach you, everything can be done if you're just putting a really practical thing so i would say get it out of whatever this dream state seems to be um in terms of oh i wish i could do that because you can so a lot of you need to identify with the fact that if you did more of what you love, then you'd be very much on the right road to having what you want. But to do that, you might have to change the, certain things or let go of certain things. Some of you might not want to let go of the attachment to what has been outdated. You've got so much nice new energy coming in here. So you've got the Fool and the Ace of Cups. This could mean like, if you're single, this could mean like new romantic things on the horizon. It could mean um, new houses for those who are looking to move or a new house type space as in, I don't know, camper van, caravan, holiday home. You know, it depends on, you'd have to make it identify with where it is that you see yourself being and what would feel like a dream to you. So some of you will have all of those different things going on, whatever it is, it's something, it might even be a new hobby. So some of you will identify with something that you really want to do and that you've been putting off doing it saying, look, it's about time. Um, because I'm more than just, you know, say you're more than just a mum, I'm more than just a sister, I'm more than just this, I am, I, I need to be who I want to be, and so I need to identify with the things that make me feel like I'm on the right path, and that I'm feeling healthy, and that I'm shining, and yeah, it's, it's to give you the right balance, so that when you are working, or having to attend to your duties, it doesn't feel like duty, because you have that balance of like fun too. Um, some of you, you might be putting off, um, putting yourself out there as in like publicly frightening <laughs> so some of you have probably got um like some form of social platform or the want to start a new interest or go, oh god i've got a real passion for whatever it might be yoga i've got this real passion for yoga but if i put myself if i say that i do classes then what happens if they don't get full or what happens if this no, no no put yourself out there because what it's saying is whatever your thing is that you do it will be really well received but you have to put yourself out there so you have to put yourself into the light. This moth is attracted and feels safe in things that feels dark, but what they need to do is they need to follow the light. Um, they feel energized when they follow their light and their truth and what makes them feel good. So lots of you need to follow the path of what makes you feel energized and what makes you feel good. A lot of you, it will be working with your hands, but a lot of you, like I said, it will be um, identifying with everything that you have in your grasp personally to do. So not what you have to rely on other people to do. It's like you take the proactive approach. What can you physically do to manifest and change the life that you want for yourself? Um, 
like I said, if it means starting a new contract, if it means putting yourself out there, if it means going for this competition or starting this business or starting this course, like I said, it feels like it's going to bring huge success. This feels like a medal to me. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. It feels like something old that you wanted to do that now you feel like you've got the strength or the power to do. So your message, guys, is end of this. So game over to all these things that cause you stress in your life. That's full fact. Like, if it causes you stress, it's not aligned to you anymore and it needs to go. Stop stepping back and watching other people do the things that you want to do. Oh, they're all, they're all away or they're all doing this. So now it's your turn. So what can you do to change your life and make it the life that you want to be? Um, I really hope that resonates with you, pile one. I'm very excited by your energy. I feel like you are going to feel more energised if you don't at the minute. Like I said, start small. Start writing stuff down. Start ticking off. Start planning. And just do it. What's the worst that can happen? Be bold. Be brave. Put yourself out there. Right, yay, pile two. So this is your reading. This is your overall energy. I'll pop that there and lay your cards out. Right, pal two, before I even kick off, you guys are far too giving. So when I was shuffling, I was like, come on, pile two, what do you need? And he kept on giving to pile three and he kept on giving to pile one. I was like, when are you going to take your turn? Like, when are you going to realise that you are important and that you need to prioritise yourself and stop over giving to all the energies around you, that it's your turn? So I feel like that's something that's a message translated in your own life. Like, you need to learn to become a little bit more selfish and um, take centre stage. You're literally in the centre pile. So you guys need to take centre stage and put yourself forward in some way with the, the knowing that you're deserving for that success or, or that you're deserving to be, um, yeah, in the, in the front row. So it's your turn to receive foremost. Lots of you, um, I feel like this is coming in the form of love, in form of a, a, an important person in your life, which will help you achieve something that you want. Um, and I feel like it's like, well, I don't need anybody in some way, but I know you don't. But look, you've got this beautiful person who's got an open heart here for you to receive. So what I would say is um, stop fighting it. So if you feel like you're fighting an energy, um, I feel like it's saying, look, it's within your grasp to, to have this within, within your own will. Some of, you, um, some of you are probably thinking about children. Um, I feel like so, so say you already have children, I feel like you're identifying with yourself as, as a mother in the relationship that you have with your children or father in the relationship you have with your children. But for many of you, this will literally mean about, be about children as in, um, like, I don't know whether you feel challenged by time to do with children or, or if you're a mother, you feel challenged by, again, challenged by time as in don't have enough time to identify with something else or for a relationship in some way. But I feel like I feel like this is talking about yeah children fertility clock time um, kind of putting pressure on yourself and what it's saying is I need to free myself up from the mentality of thinking that I don't have time or that I don't have time for me and my um, emotional self you absolutely should be prioritizing that emotional self so let that person come forward there's something about this where you don't allow that like it feels safe sometimes when you keep that behind the scenes in some way and what I would say is that you need to have um, you need to work on that. So you need to work on letting people in more and um, and yeah, and trust, I would say, trusting relationships. Some of you, this will actually mean get an online dating as well. So it'll be like genuinely putting yourself out there. Go on those dates. Um, do the stuff that makes you feel like um, alive. And like I said, it might be shocking. But, oh, I'm looking at this card and I'm like, dirty. Like some of this stuff, it doesn't even matter. Like some of this stuff I think is amazing it's like put myself out there what's the worst that can happen if I if I identify with it if it's emotionally fulfilling it might be something new I might go in like I said with some form of naivety and, and innocence but it's like well um I don't really care what people think so you've got that twice you've got two energies of like do not care what people think about the things that you're interested in how you do things and um, what you're into and what you want to do um and, and especially like like I said, I feel like this is within a romantic self. So it might be that people look at, say, you have a relationship and they're looking at your relationship and going, oh, that's not really the way that relationships go or that's not the way that most people do it. Who cares? If it's functional for you and you, and, and like it's just saying, it's just like, be cool. Like, be cool with what, what, what is emotionally fulfilling for you. Try the new stuff and put yourself out there. Post it, like whatever, whatever feels right for you. Um, but what I would say is, 
the worst thing you can do is just not do anything. So if you have like decision paralysis on anything, I would say what you need to do is just keep making choices and, and keep making moves. Just get out of that frame of mind of, oh no, no, I can't, I can't, I couldn't possibly do it. just do it. Like seriously, it's saying, look, the time is now to just do it. Um, the next three months are going to open up for you in the sense that you need to get from behind the curtains. You need to put yourself forward. You need to put yourself in the limelight. You need to put yourself on show in some way. Uh, the reason I say that is because you're going to open up way more doors for yourself. There's keys for success here. So like I said, I feel like this is the group that if you have children, you're prioritizing them. If you have a partner, you're putting them first. Um, and, um, and like I said, or family, if you've got family, you're really dedicated to your family. It's like, right, when are you actually going to step up and choose you? So spirit wants you to choose you. They want you to choose your heart. They want you to choose your emotions. They want you to have better boundaries to say no more. They want you to have some form of independence. If, if others don't want to do it with you, you do it yourself. Like, just make it happen. Um, yeah, so this is the I am phase. So I am, I, you know, I am capable. I am powerful. I am strong. It's an Aries energy. So Aries, like, it brings about um, excitement because it's like, oh my God, I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to do this. So the ram, it, it rams forward and it pushes forward. It does it sure footed. So it's not like it's um, unequipped for this. These guys walk on um, mountains, like on the, on the edgiest rocks. Some of you, this might even mean getting up, up mountains yourself. Like I want to go up Snowdon. I want to take on these challenges. I want to do this. You might identify... Um, I don't know, you might connect with yourself more if you do more outdoors. Some of you, this might mean going to the beach. I just feel like it's like, whatever you have a hankering for, just do it. Like seriously, even if you have to do it alone, it's saying, look, look I feel like, um, I really like this. It's, it's all about I, it's total identification with self, nine as well. It's about controlling um, or like being in control, not controlling, being in control of everything within your world for what you want to happen and to come true. Um, some of you, you might have had some damaged relationships in the past, or you might have lost some faith due to some relationships in the past and, and some hurt maybe. So I think this is a real time for prioritizing health. Some of you might be getting into your fitness. Even I'm wearing green, so I'm channeling this energy as well. It's a very Virgo energy and it's like um, showing up every day. So show up every day for yourself. Some of you, this will mean like going to the gym every day, starting eating healthy every day, even if it's small things like introducing those smoothies or the extra greens or they don't have to be massive things all the time, but just start. So the moment you just start is, um, yeah, is when you're going to start to feel better. So what I like about this is you've got like a Queen Victoria. Um, I think she's a queen anyway. I'm so, oh, my history is so bad. But anyway, it says Victorian. To me, she identifies as being the queen. This is like the queen of pentacles. So this is like somebody who knows her value. She knows her worth and she realizes that um, like I said, instead of doing everybody else or serving everybody else in some way, um, she can do everything. She doesn't have to choose this person. She can be a working mother. She can um, choose to have a social life. She can choose to go out and have fun. She does not have to choose, but also she can choose her energy and go, that's not good enough for me, or I don't want to do that. That's not, that's not how I roll in some way. So yeah, choose yourself, empower yourself, realize that, yeah, you can say no and, and still feel um values and still be a friend um i feel like you've already been through a place where you might have had a bit of like depression in some way it's saying look now i've moved on in a big way like i really know where i'm going or at least if i don't know where i'm going at least i'm on the road uh, i don't need to know fully where i'm going but at least i'm moving so lots of you people are moving towards what end goal feels like what happiness feels like especially when it comes to your finances i feel like you guys are probably the workaholics that most identify with your work path and maybe that's your your relationship path has kind of taken a bit of a back seat in some way so you might have even had a massive drastic change in your life because what i see with that is like poof, like goodbye past i no longer identify with this for some reason all i'm doing is moving forward you maybe even had a bit of a clear out i know i have so some of you might find it very cleansing to get rid of stuff that you no longer identify with in your house in your wardrobe in your friendships in your energy just generally out with the old in with the new um so yeah that's your message it's boundaries it's identifying with self i am what do i want um putting yourself out there researching some of you might want to study some of you might want to enrich your learning in some way um as i looked up it was 2020 on my clock so some of you might need to look at 
your eyes or it's telling you you are seeing clearly this is what i this is what i identify with this is i'm seeing yeah i'm seeing and, and i know what i want so i hope that helps you pile two um and we will jump into pile three right pile three Right, now I can tell you now, you guys have got the right energy. So you are prioritizing yourself. Um, when I was shuffling for the other piles, all the cards were going to pile three. It's like me, I'm first. So I feel like you're in a self-serving mode as in going, no, it's my turn. If I want it, I've got to go out and get it. So I'm, I'm going for it. So I would feel without defeat, literally, if I want it, I'm doing it and I'm having it. As in, yeah, jumping, putting yourself forward, putting yourself out there um innocently like i don't feel like it's in a harsh way i feel like it's in like a in a forward moving momentum um what i like about this one is you've got good luck on your side so because you are putting yourself forward in some way and you are yeah manifesting things i feel like it's saying that it's going to bring about it some really good luck as well so like i said with this you've got the key which is the key keys to success so your doors are opening some of you again might be hitting a big milestone you might have just turned a, a big age 18 21 30 40 50 60 70 80. it doesn't really matter what the age is 90 um but but by by turning that age or by getting into that phase which feels bigger or different you're going oh my god like i need to change my life i need to do this so you're making those massive decisions and you, but, but not only that you're taking action so these are my action group action without challenge like i've got so much energy and i'm just going to do it um go 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 so yeah steering forward taking control i feel like if you have been doing that you might have even just been through that phase and it's like oh my gosh breathe healing so you may be having some big healing um energies because of some action that you've been taking it may even come with a slight heavy heartedness and like, uh, like an emotional feel because you've created this change for yourself and and you've maybe been selfish. I mean, I think it's healthy to be selfish because it means that you choose yourself. Um, sacral, what makes me feel good? What makes me feel passionate? What makes me feel alive? What makes me wanna, I don't know, do it. It's very orange. So some of you orange, if you're wearing color, which is orange or drawn to color that's orange, that's because it's your color, because it's about, you're letting your kind of like gut and intuition, your passions lead you forward. Um, We've got a lot of sevens here so i don't know whether july is completely significant for you or just generally in fact you've got oh, you've got three seven have you got more than that three sevens on the table four sevens yeah you've got four sevens down on this down on this table so seven can mean slight it can mean like slightly little like um like be, be open, I would say, so that you don't end up tripping yourself up with whatever these um, passions are that you want. Um, not caring about what people think, I think is always a seven. Um, like I said, taking control of your life is always a seven. And kind of like, I don't know, kind of using both heads as in your heart and your gut and your head and going right now, what what do I what's this new life? I want to open this up and what 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 is it that I'm leading towards as long as it's truthful. So yeah, I really think truthful and openness of self of what you want is really important. Also sharing those truths of what you want within yourself is really important. Some of you are, are really juggling options and you maybe don't know what to choose. Maybe this is people or maybe this is things or situations. Um choose the healthy ones, choose the ones um choose the ones that are fair. Like, like I said, I feel like with justice, it's saying do what to others what you would want done to yourself. So I feel like identify with what is healthy and what is the right thing to do and also gives you what you want. Um, I feel like it's about time that you guys did this and you took control and you did things for you. You're doing a lot of new things is what I would say to this group. And, and if you're not, it's like maybe you should be. So all those things that you maybe selfishly want to start and learn. I feel like there's lots of learning in here. You might have had a lot of spiritual growth as well. So you might have had, um, I don't know, something happen to you where you start seeing the synchronicities, the double numbers, the signs, signs making you move, signs making you change your life in some way. And um, realizing that maybe what you had, you didn't want in some way. I feel like what you still need to know is that you can do this in a very gentle way. Um, it doesn't have to be in a harsh way. I'd actually say do it in a way that actually 
is gut led, it's not head led. So almost like ditch the sensibility of some form of decisions. But, but like I said, it's going to allow you to start the new things innocently, um, where, where you're just going to keep ascending and keep ascending and keep ascending. All I see is you doing this until you get to the thing that you didn't even know that you want, probably. So you, you're going to start stripping back the layers, I feel, of yourself and learning yourself. Um, and when you start doing things, you're going to have more energy to do more of it and more of it and more of it. Um, lots of you, this is connected to relationships. So I, you might have had relationships that you've been in and changed or um, you might be looking at the current relationship in and it needs a bit more flavour in some way. What I see is that there's loads of new energy coming in. So either new energy in terms of like relationships or new energy in terms of, um, I don't know, like how, what, what makes you, um, what feels like luxury, like what makes you feel like you're in the right place, like um, doing the right things, feeling, feeling good. It's, it's a Venus energy. So Venus is everything that is of beauty. It could be like I said, surrounding yourself with nice things or nice arts or um, massages, you know, you know, all the cycles of life which feel like luxury. So kind of maybe this is a life that you've never really given yourself and that, and that you're now going, do you know what, maybe I deserve this, maybe I should try that. Um, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of pleasure coming into this group. But, but like I said, it's not, it's not without deserve because I feel like you've either had some things that have been up in the air, um, Maybe finances haven't been this good before. Um, maybe you've just been healing from something because you've had something emotional come in and now it's your turn to have that, that joy and that balance of what feels lovely and gorgeous. Um, but like I said, I feel like the more you do it, the more you're gonna create these solutions for yourself, turn the keys. Uh, again, it's a phase of your life which feels like a lucky phase. It feels like when you invite that energy in, it's it's like the law of, law of attraction. You know, like what you say, I can, and then more more stuff comes. Whereas if you say, no, I can't, then more bad stuff happens. So I feel like it's connecting to the fact that you can have um, all these nice things, and then you find that more nice things, or, or what happens if I connect to these nice people? More nice people come in, or more helpful people come in. So yeah, I think you're finding the better balance of life and allowing yourself this new energy that feels a bit luxurious and a bit, yeah, self-indulgent. So, um, if that isn't your message, I would say that is your green light, that this is where you should be placing your energy. So I really hope that helps you, Pal 3. Thank you so much um, and peace out.